How's it going, everyone? It is Andre Williams, and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about Lucid. It has been an interesting week for the EV sector, and we want to see a continuation of that into the coming week. Lucid has been showing some strong price action. It has become a trader's paradise, and I'm going to be talking about it more inside of this video. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is the technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance. We want to know those key levels so we have a strategy or some sort of an idea going into Monday and as well as for the rest of the week. And then we're going to go on Fintel taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and the short interest information. In regards to the short interest, it has an impact on the way the stock performs and this is why we cover it. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know what is the buying and as well as the selling behavior like on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for Lucid. Let's see how it performed on Friday. So I ended up closing at $43.93, being down 2.33%. On the low, it tested $42.74 and then on the high, testing $45.19. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day you can see we traded at 41.015 million shares and for the average volume over 10 trading days being at 84.677 million shares so that is definitely a big difference there and it's part of the reasons why we ended up seeing some pressure on the stock price now when we take a look at our chart which is a daily chart you can see from the RSI down below it is right around 69.90 keep in mind we were coming off of some highs where we had the RSI at 84.4 one. So when we take a look now at the moving averages here on our chart, we have strength above the 100 day, the 200 day, the 50 day, and as well as the 21 day EMA lucid on a strong uptrend, as you can see here also from the golden cross with the 50 day going through the 200 day. Now, what I want to point out, lucid has been seeing increasing levels of support. So we have support here that was built at 28. We have some support here that was built at 36. We have support that was built here right at 40. And as you can see on the Friday, we ended up actually holding down the $42 level, $42.74 to be exact. So going into Monday and as well as for the rest of the week, you'd want to see a continuation of that. If we're able to do this, then the next level to keep an eye on will be right at that $45 level. Passing 45, then you'd want to look forward to seeing that move going to 48. Of course, you would have some resistance there but once we pass 48 I don't see any reason why we shouldn't be able to actually touch 50 bucks. Now, if Lucid decides to consolidate in this range between 42 and as well as 45, that is also a good look as well. And we can look forward to seeing that move happen, what we're looking for, which is to 50. Now, the bearish case scenario, you'd want to see Lucid at least continue to hold up right here around $42.38. And if it did decide to pull back even further, then I'll be looking for some strength here right around 40.60. And then after I would look to see if it can continue to hold up the $40 range. And if it has more downside from there, then you guys have a good idea of where this stock can go. And I'm talking about 38, 37 and so forth. So continue to keep an eye on it and let's see how Lucid performs for the coming week. So we're going to take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information for Lucid. So scrolling down on the page, green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed position. So for the first one for November the 12th filings, we have JP Morgan that ended up closing their put. And then we go down even further. We're going to look at the ones that are the most significant here, all right? Because there's going to be many of them. So we have Fort Sheridan Advisors that purchased just under 11,000. We have Newberger Berman Group LLC that purchased just over a million shares. And we also have Group One Trading that purchased just over 114,000 shares or 114,971 to be exact. As we go down even more, we see First Republic Investment Management Inc. that purchased 
purchased just over 13,000. And we also have Rumbline Advisors that purchased just over 23,000. Going down even more, we have Baird Financial Group Inc. that purchased just over 20,000. And Hightower Advisors that purchased just under 37,000. Going down even more, Manufacturers Life Insurance Company purchased just under 30,000. And then we could see here for Alpine Global Management LLC that purchased just under 270,000. We also have Wolverine Trading LLC that purchased 166,330. Going down even more, we have Geode Capital Management LLC that purchased 5.6 million shares. And we have Vanguard that purchased 35.5 million shares. And then we see here Sculptor Capital LP that purchased just under 126,000 shares. And then we could see here for Winslow Capital Management LLC that purchased just over 7.5 million shares. And we have Cohen and Company LLC that purchased just over 20,300 shares. Marathon Trading Investment Management LLC that purchased 20,669. And then we have Magnetar Financial LLC that purchased just over 3.5 million shares. So we had institutions that were loading up on Lucid. So now when we take a look at the short interest, the dark pool short volume ratio is at 40%. And then for the dark pool short volume being just over 8.7 million shares. Scrolling down even further, the short shares availability is at 1.8 million updated two minutes ago. And then for the short ball free rate, it is at 0.74%. As we scroll down further, taking a look at the history of the short volume ratio, we could see for the close of last week, Thursday, it was at 39.93. And you can see for the Friday that just passed, it's at 40 on the dot. So it went up a little bit, but one thing that remains the same, Lucid does have short squeeze potential. This is why you want to keep this play on the radar and continues to be a trader's paradise. So now let's jump into the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for Lucid. So we can see here on the inflow is 376 and then on the outflow it was 380. Let's look at the breakdown. On the large, it was at 5.20. On the medium, it was 188. And then on the small, it was 183. Taking a look at the outflow side on the large, it was 1.61. On the medium, it was 193. And then on the small, it was 185. When we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you could see for the 11th and as well as for the 12th being inflow days and the Friday being at 3.6 million. Taking a look at the breakdown even further you can see as far as for the retail side we had more selling than we had buying but not a huge difference and then when we take a look at the medium again we had more selling than we had buying but not a big difference and then when we take a look at the large which tends to be institutional buying we had more buying than we had selling which is really good to see now when we take a look at the turnover ratio it was at 2.53 percent so that is not bad whatsoever considering of the fact yes there are many who are still continuing to hold on to their lucid shares but we also do know there's a lot of traders going in and out of this play due to the fact that lucid has been trading in a tight range and you can literally make money both ways when it comes to this stock so now let's jump into the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details as well so for my final thoughts for lucid it is definitely going to be an interesting week we know they have earnings that is going to be coming up on november the 15th and we also do know that joe biden is going to be signing off on the infrastructure bill come on Monday. So like I was saying, I think it was in my charge point video, is this going to be a buy the rumor, sell the news type of thing for the EV sector as a whole, or even infrastructure related plays as a whole? We're going to have to find out. But I know one thing for a fact, if stocks start moving up in this space, Lucid will benefit tremendously. And this is where I want to see it get past that $45 area, make that move to 48 so we can finally touch around 50 bucks. If we decide to consolidate going into earnings, that is completely fine because that will probably put us in a range where we could hold support around 41 to 42 but if it can continue just to hold that even after earnings, whether it ends up being some average results or even if it ends up being our earnings beat, then I wouldn't be shocked if Lucid goes to 50 and even beyond that. So continue to keep this play on the radar. And even when we went on Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information, it still continues to have short squeeze potential. So this is why this is going to be on traders' radars everywhere. And another thing is when we looked at the recent institutional ownership, there was a good amount of institutions going 
going in with position. So buying up Lucid. So that's one thing that is great to hear if you are a long-term investor. But I, for myself, I'm not gonna be adding any shares of Lucid for the long term, I'm gonna to continue to be patient and wait for a pullback to actually present itself. So let's see how this momentum continues in the EV sector and I'll make sure to keep you guys inside of the loop as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.